They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Well, I can't really give you an idea of the scale of this place. Um, there's obviously hundreds of thousands of bottles being produced and stored at any one time. It's a, a huge operation. And I guess this machine basically moves the bottles from level to level. You have people loading the bottles onto the conveyor belt at this upper level. And all effectively this is doing is moving it to the lower level. So I guess they found that this is the most efficient way, but I would have thought sticking it in a lift would be better, but you know, this is the modern, uh, sorry, this is the traditional way of moving the bottles, I guess. Those two obviously escape the first run. Gentleman is just explaining the workings of the uh, what do you call it conveyor belt. And obviously, um, probably explaining what I've just uh, pointed out myself that it's it's a huge, huge chain. And it just links this upper section to the lower section, and. I say, all I can see that it's doing is moving bottles from this upper section down to the lower section. Not people putting them on the conveyor belt on this upper section, and people taking them off at the lower section. And obviously, this thing doesn't stop, so when they're changing a the crate or if somebody has to pop off to the toilet, you miss a few and they just go round again. And also, you might find that the lower floor is giving the upper floor a bit of a break and vice versa. If they don't take every bottle, then um, they haven't got to fill every hole. Here's where the chain comes back up from the lower level. It comes all the way up the end. And back down the other side. A bit like us.
I'd say a massive, massive operation. Huge. Da da da. Um, Daniel. Daniel. Britain. Britain. Yeah. This. Yeah. Eddie. I don't think Daniel. What's that? Soviet era. Um, mosaic. Mosaic. Da da da. Yeah. So I was right when I saw the Soviet era mosaic. It has. It's. Yeah. It's all original here. Really cool. Really cool. Oh, it is lovely and cool down here. I really, <laughs> this is, um, well, I'd be quite happy working, but I guess at 16 degrees constant temperature, I'll probably get a few um, coughs, colds, and infections. Ah, look how many bottles. They just go on and on and on and on. And they go right the way back as well. It's not just one row. Oh, there's one there that's gone bang, look. So this is where they say don't touch the bottles because they are stored under pressure. And occasionally you see you see some that have actually gone pop. The bottom has blown out of those. So that's kind of cool. I'm just glad I'm not around when it goes bang. <laughs> he says exiting quickly. So I guess this is where the tasting is done. And this is a brow de so's venture into I won't say non-alcoholic, but um, certainly less alcohol. So this stuff is 8%. Numbered bottles. And as a famous man once said, here endeth the lesson. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.